Darren and Jill, looks like you're having fun. You know, for most of us who grow up out here in the West, we think that you have to stay out here in the West to enjoy a camping scene with pine-covered forests, lakes, cool water streams and rivers, and outdoor recreation galore. But what if I told you there was a summer vacation you could take that had all of that, plus revolutionary and Civil War history, old world culture, Disneyland amusement park fun, all wrapped up with a sweet smell of chocolate. Welcome to Central Pennsylvania. You know, early on in my career, I had the extraordinary experience of living and working in Pennsylvania for five years with the well-known TV program, PM Magazine. Now, in that period of time, I got to show off all kinds of fun family destinations and quirky places to visit and interesting things to do. One of my favorite areas to explore was the Amish country surrounding Hershey and Harrisburg. The history of Hershey Town is very unique. In 1903, Milton Hershey began construction of his chocolate plant in his hometown of Derry Church, later to be renamed as Hershey. By 07, Milton had built a town and a park and a pavilion and a carousel so his employees would have some fun while they worked there. Well, today it's Hershey Park. It has over 65 rides and they're all based on chocolate. Now, this is a great base camp for a vacation. Take your motor home, pack it into a hotel and have a great time. Doesn't get any sweeter than that. Now, if you want to explore the area, nearby in the town of Lidditz is the nation's oldest pretzel factory, founded in 1861 by Julius Sturgis. Now, this is where hard pretzels came from, because Julius was, as a young man, an apprentice baker at another pretzel factory, and he fell asleep one night, and they overcooked. He tasted one and said, man, these are good. So he formed his own company and started baking Sturgis pretzels. His great-grandson now heads up Tom Sturgis pretzels and still makes them to that old family recipe. Now, I've always loved learning about history, as you can kind of tell by now. And back in Pennsylvania, there's plenty of it. And it could be based on food. It could be based on mining town, getting out your OHV, and zipping through the lush foliage of the eastern woods. And that's where we're headed next, over to Shimokan. We're at AOAA, which is the Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area. Recently opened, been six years in the works, by my friend Barry Osworth. We were out doing some rock crawling. What we have here is uh, 6,500 acres of what was mostly abandoned mine property. It's owned by the uh, county of Northumberland. We cater to all kinds of recreation, full-size Jeeps, sand buggies, ATVs, dirt bikes, dune buggies, motorcycles, you name it, it has a motor on it. We've probably had it here in the last couple weeks. We took the trail Bam Bam and M Trail and a few other trails, did some gardens and some uh, waterfalls. The AOAA is a pay-for-play area. You can get an annual pass or just one for multiple days. The forested hills around Shimokan are rich with mining history, but about two hours away, you can find some more somber variety of history filled with the echoes of voices long silent. Gettysburg Township is also in central Pennsylvania. It was originally settled in 1761 by Samuel Gettys, little more than a tavern where soldiers and traders came to rest, but it became significant in history with the crackle of gunfire and the battle cries of the three-day battle of Gettysburg. The area is now almost a sacred place, open to visitors from all over the world. Instead of the explosions and sounds of anguish, people will experience the peaceful and calm with memory and reflections of nature. Gettysburg National Military Park is a giant memorial, 640 acres, for the soldiers who lost their life in battle. This is what I love about Pennsylvania. Within a couple of hours, you can be recreating in an old mining town, reliving America's past or enjoying a theme park with your kid. And that doesn't cover the fishing and the lakes and stream and other places that you may want to visit. Pennsylvania is definitely a different kind of adventure, but one well worth having. Somewhere or another, it should be on your bucket list. Now, if you'd like other information about some of the locales we visited, head to our website. Right now, it's time for us to head to a commercial break. Darren and Jill will be back with more of At Your Leisure in just a minute. 
Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna wanna watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna wanna like it, you're gonna wanna share it, and you're gonna wanna subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna wanna do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.